what's up youtubers welcome back to my channel this is zoom photography i am fk abuada um, today we want to look at how we can get a melanated skin texture or skin color in a model in a beautiful black model so we want to see if we can how we can achieve this skin tone dark rich skin tone in a black model beautiful model so this is Inshira. i'll put her ig link in the bio so you can check her out you can also check her website at zoomgh.com and then subscribe to my youtube channel my instagram follow me at zoom photography with the fie photography zoom photography all right so let's Without much I do, let's zoom in. So this is how that is after doing my normal editing, removing the skin blemishes, uh, skin smoothening, frequency separation and all that. Now I want to change the skin color from this reddish looking skin to a beautiful black skin like this. All right, so if you open this folder, you will realize that I did some hue saturation and black and white adjustment layers. So let's see how I went about it. Let's disable this one. I first of all go to the hue saturation adjustment layer. I'll take down the reds, take the saturation from the reds down to up to about this point, yes, and then ye yellow as well because those two colors makes up the skin tone and I'll also reduce the lightness. All right, we are starting to already get some nice skin tone. From there, next step is to do a black and white adjustment layer. Go to the black and white adjustment layer. Then we'll take down the reds to a bit. And we'll go to the blend mode options. And put it on multiply yeah wow but obviously this is too much so we'll reduce the opacity to up to a point where we think we like it i think 55 it's okay for me yeah let me see yeah 55 it's okay for me so that's it. No, I'm kidding. All right. So from here, what's next? As you can see, the effects, the hue saturation and the black and white has affected everything in the image. So we need it. We need to take it out of places that it's affecting, like the eye, the lips, the heart. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll press control and select the next layer. Then control G to group them. Then I'll add a layer mask to it. So I'm going to uh, paint on the places that I don't like. Um, like the hearts, the eyes, the lips. I'll pick a soft brush. Softness of zero. Soft, large brush. It's not large enough. Let me see. All right. Mm. 
and then I will the next is to change the brush color to black so black conceal the effects that you've done and then white reveal the effects that you've done so when you paint on anywhere on the screen on the mask black is going to um, con how do I say it's going to remove the effects that you've done already you're going to conceal the effects that you've already done so um, I'll paint on the places that I don't want the effects to be black let's increase the opacity to about uh, 90 percent then we'll paint on the places that we don't want our effects to be on you adjust the brush depend on where you are painting you want to paint on this butterflies I have to reduce the size so that will not affect the skin So you can see I'm going outside the so I will have to toggle between the black and white and clean that off. By the way, if you press X, you toggle between the black and white color. So I'll paint on the hat. Nicely. So in now the next is the eyes and the lips. In order not, not to paint or not to ruin it, I'll have to zoom in to the eye and then take my soft black brush, res resize the brush and then paint. Yeah, that's the original color of the eye. So I'm bringing it back in any way. I even like uh, the way it is. I like the after the way it is, but you see the model has some makeup on the eyelid. Oh, the picture. I'm going to bring some back, not all of it. If you bring all of it, it will look weird. I'll bring, uh, yeah, 25 ish back. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, I think here is too much. So I will subtract just a tan. Yeah, and then on the lips, on the lips, we clean it off. So let's zoom out and see how it is. I think it's looking okay, but if you feel the effect is too much, you can always reduce the opacity. And I think 80, 80 is okay. So this is the uh, before, that's how the image is. And this is the after. So that's how to get a, a rich melanin skin tone in a model. Thank you for watching and thank you for your subscriptions. We are heading somewhere. I pray you share my video. You like and comment. Comment on what I should do, not what, what you expect me to do. And follow my social media account. I'll put the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you next week.